hello today i am going to show a demonstration of how we can use drone kit sitl for simulating our drone and fly it over football field of mississippi state university basically we can use it to fly at any locations where we can extract the gps coordinates and but in today's uh, demonstration i am just going to show you I'm just going to fly my simulated drone over the football field of Mississippi State University. In this case, first we need to pull out the GPS coordinates of our home location where our drone will start. So this, the top left corner, you can see that is my set home location and I have pulled out its GPS coordinate as here. You can see it over here. And the remaining three coordinates are the point 0.1, point 0.2 and point 0.3 where I'll basically be using uh, to fly my drones. So let's see how we do it. So the first thing we'll be doing is we open three terminal windows. As you can see, terminal window one, terminal window two, and terminal window three. All of them have been in the the path has been set to map proxy because that's where because we'll be using map proxy for this. In the first terminal window, all we have to do is we have to start drone kit SITL software and give the copter version. If you don't give any copter version, it will choose by default the latest that is installed on your computer. In my case, it is 3.3. And then set the home coordinates. This is the same home coordinates as the top left corner. And uh, 0, 180 is basically 0 is the starting altitude, which is 0 on the ground. And 180 degrees is the yaw direction, yaw direction for the drone that will be facing and it will fly the drone. The model is the copter, quadcopter. So let's start this. As we have started, you can see the audicopter the has the SITL has been started on TCP port number 5760 and it's waiting for SITL input. So from terminal 2, we will give the input. So let's start second terminal. In the second terminal, I'm going to start map proxy and set up the TCP port as the master port which will be port forwarded using SITL on 5501 to three UDP ports which is basically at 14,550, 14,551 and 14,552 ports. We will connect our coming mission planner software on 52, I mean 14,552 port and we will we'll run our script at this port the flight simulation script at 14,550 port. So let's start this. So as you can show, it is uh, it has been connected with online system one. So it's calibrating all the parameters required for the simulated drone. And now you can see it's actually ready to fly. It's stabilized and it is ready to fly. So now we will just go and start uh, the script run the script so this is our script which is called uh, fly msstate.py and it will fly to these three three points and we'll try to run this script at uh, using the third terminal and then we hit enter but let me quickly stop this because i need to start mission planner first So we are starting Mission Planner software and as you can see the drone is already located at its home location so which is a good sign. So it's facing all the parameters. So, because first we need to set this up in the guided mode, we set the mode as guided mode, that's only when it can be armed. Basically, there is a bug in the code of map proxy because of which it cannot force the drone into this set mode of guided. Even though in the script, we have set it up for guided mode to start because the vehicle never flies with, I cannot get armed without guided mode. But, but this map proxy that it's pulling this library, 
uh, from the, the drone gate it has some issue with that because of which we have to manually set this in the guided mode so this is done now let's disconnect this and i will disconnect this and i because as i told you i need to connect it on 14552 i'm going to connect it on 14552 at udp port because right by default it connects it chooses by its because we started three udp ports 1450 51, 52, 51 and 52 we made to make sure it is in 14,552. so as you can see udp 14,552. Now let's go and run the script. We are ready to run our script. For the drone to arm it and fly it. So you should be seeing the status over here. So now ground start. It's initializing APM. The drone has been armed. And you can see it's going up, climbing the altitude. You can see the airspeed going up, altitude going up as soon as it's just 10 meter. Now you can see the uh, drone is flying to first point number one. And the maximum altitude should be at 40 that has been set up. I mean 80, not 40, but 80. Let's check this out. We have set it up for 80, so it is going to be at 80 so it keeps going high so it has reached close to 80 meter enough now it's flying to point number two and these are the air speed the ground air speed and the, this is the air speed and there should also be a ground speed. So it has this point number two. Now it should be flying to point number So now it's going towards third point. So I created a greater delay for second to third point, making sure that the drone reaches the second point because the path is longer. So in my script, you can see there is a more delay between point number second to third the 60 seconds rather than 40 seconds between point one and point two because they are the shorter parts so now it will wait for rtl uh, it's still in the guided mode unless it gets the rtl command it will not go home because it has covered all the three points where it was supposed to fly So sometimes if it doesn't get uh, the RTL command, you have to, you can, you can give the RTL command manually from here. So if you give the RTL command, it will start going home. And once it is at home, I will start descending. It's trying to make it preparing itself to land. As you can see, the, uh, the altitude is decreasing.
okay so now you should disarm the motors because it has reached the zero meter elevation so it's disarming and now it has safely landed so this is how we do it uh, thank you